What is up, players? You're not into the playground. If you're new, welcome to your turn. Welcome back. My name is MJ. Today I'm reacting to top 10 insane Big Ed moments from 90 Day Fiance. Uh, I think I was ready for this reaction. Give me a thumbs up. Let's press play. Big Ed has taken reality stars and turned it into celebrities next level. I mean, yeah, we've got the Kardashians, but they had money and Kim's tape was leaked by her own mother. It's just not that authentic. This man, Ed, he was literally just a regular man looking for love. And after appearing on 90 Day Fiance, he's turned himself into a brand. Whether you love him or hate him, Big Ed is taking advantage brand? of his 15 minutes. And I won't lie, I gotta say he's doing it. Oh, he's right. cute, this one. Obviously, to keep the people talking. As we know, Ed has become known for his insane moments on this show. And although he and Rose have since split, well, we gotta keep talking about Ed here. Today on Inform Overload, we're counting down the top 10 insane Big Ed moments from 90 Day Fiance. What's going down, guys? Welcome back to IO. I'm your host for this one, Jared Jerry Brown. Bronson. We are mm. talking about the one. Mary the Bronson. The man himself. How's it sound? As always, stick around to the very end for some bonus. I want to see his left hand. I follow the IO on Instagram. I call it the IO. I meant to say the official IO Instagram page. Put your hand up so we can see. Yeah, um, yeah, ooh, he's not married. The point I'm trying to say is go follow IO on Instagram. We post some newsworthy posts. On oh my there. gosh, you're talking a lot though. As cute as you are. Let's get to it. All right. I would first bring light to this, shall I say, unique beauty trend. Posted on February 23rd and currently sitting at 2.5 million views, the one minute nine second clip previewed what was to come in a future episode. More specifically, it shows Ed mayonnaise? dipping a spatula into a jar of mayonnaise before lathering and massaging it into his scalp. While he's doing so, he explains that, quote, since I met Rose, I want to look young for her. So I've been dyeing my hair and it irritates my scalp. So I found out that mayonnaise makes it smoother and less dry. I'm self-conscious of my physical appearance because Rose is 31 years younger than me. I smell like an egg salad sandwich, but it really, really if works. If you want to look, young look younger, I mean, it's start with losing weight, though. Well, right? Now, on that always time, helps. He, told Rose he was old enough to be her father. For those of you who don't know, Ed is 54 and Rose is 23. And according to Ed, when they first met online, after falling in love, of course, he told us straight up that he was old enough to be her father. But Rose's response was probably the best part about the entire situation. As Ed explained on an episode of the Nighttime Show podcast, I quote, The first conversation we had was, Look, Rose, I'm 54. I'm old enough to be your dad. And she was like, Well, you're actually one year older than my dad. And I'm like, Oh my god, so great, let's just be friends. And she's like, no, I'll never forget that. You know, age is just a number. I never thought of her as this young girl. She just became this single mother that I wanted to help. Oh wow, she's a guess, single yes, mother. Age is just a number, and truthfully, I really don't care about their age gap. What I do have a problem with, however, is the fact that he told the woman he was looking to marry that he's old enough to be her father. It's like there's just certain things that should be left unsaid, and yeah. that's probably one of them. Now, yeah. number eight, lying about his height. In a oh my god, so I guess I missed number 10 then, because I didn't realize it was one of those videos that, like, you talk and you show it. I thought he was going to talk and then, like, take us through the thing. Do you know, like, the ones with the automated stuff? Uh, well, if I miss number 10, please comment it below, because, like, I don't want to, like, distract you. Apparently what it's called when the reality stars talk directly to the camera in another room. You guys know what I'm talking about. And one of those Confessional. Things, Ed admits that he lied to Rose about his height, telling her he is five foot two when in fact he is four eleven. Now, being someone who is actually five foot eight inches and three quarters, but goes around telling everyone I'm five four. nine, I understand why Ed did what he did. No, so you lied about a quarter, like a quarter of an inch. This man's adding three inches. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even say. I'm not even gonna joke about it. To add insult to injury, when the two officially met at the airport, one of the first things Rose said to Ed was, "You're short to me." There's also the fact that he lied about wanting a vasectomy, even though he knew Rose wanted to have another child. Seems like from the start, this wasn't going to end well. Right. Now, number seven, showering with Rose's dad. After taking a trip to see Rose and her family in the Philippines, Ed what? found himself bathing with her father. It's no secret Ed experienced an extreme culture shock visiting Rose's home, but the shower scene is really what stole the episode, it seems. After explaining in an interview with E.T. how awful the living conditions were, Ed explained he woke up and immediately wanted to shower. He went on to say, I wake up and I'm already miserable. And then I'm like, I need to go take a bath. I didn't even why did he have to go? Place. Why didn't I just get a hotel? We went by her dad's room and then he's like, hey, I want to bathe with you. I'm like, okay. So we walk another six feet to this 50 gallon drum of water and hence the bath scene with her dad. I'm dropping the soap. It's surreal. Rose is sitting there hosing me off. It is freaking freezing. The water was actually really, really cold. Again, I feel the man's pain. Cold showers are very hard. But for some reason, watching him shower with Rose's father was just hysterical, especially when he first realizes how cold the water really is. Now at six, $5,000 in gifts. 
early on in the show, and actually admits that he spoils those he has feelings for. More specifically, he admits to those watching the show that within three months of meeting Rose online, he purchased about $5,000 worth of gifts for her. At first, this led some viewers to the conclusion Rose is simply going to do with Ed for his money, but it turns out... Ed but what's $5,000 like? At this point, guys. Since the two have split, Rose has actually come out saying that the only gifts she received from Ed were a set of bra and panties. She's even gone as far as accusing him of faking to be into her just to get notoriety from being on the Definitely. show. Definitely. How can I now see that. at number five, Ed's Nikes? Going back to his time spent in the Philippines, Ed and Rose would visit a pig farm where Rose's father works and lives. However, it seems Ed wasn't having as much fun as those watching him struggle were. Aside from the fact that he put plastic bags to cover his Nike shoes, his attempt at feeding the pigs was just as wacky. Ed explained, I was just irritated because everybody had these nice boots on except for Rose and I. I ended up slipping and falling into pig crap and the food went all over the pigs. Then again, I won't lie, if I had some nice kicks, I wouldn't want to get them muddy either. But couldn't you just, like, gone out to buy a pair of boots? That's the what I'm saying. The classic is what caused him to slip in the first place. He's so now, weird. Now, number four, accusing Rose of scamming him. Again, during their time in Rose's native country. He is, he's the, the shop, big old scam. But Rose grabbed for Ed's wallet and seemed to spend his money quite frivolously, he started to show some concern, explaining, I'm not comfortable with Rose grabbing my money because that's not what you do. I think it's borderline, you know, inappropriate. And I already have questions about her sister because she asked me for money. I don't want to believe that this could just be a scam, but I don't know if Rose is in on it or not. Truthfully, I don't think Rose did it for the money, but when she saw how Ed was in person, including the things he said to her, mm -hmm. well, I wouldn't feel bad if he was being taken for a ride. Yeah, I think she was like, I better get Rose something well, out of it. I can imagine those are going to be our final three on today's list. But, I mean, after all the lying, aside from the hype, the things he said to her, I would probably, you know, take him for a ride too, because, like, doesn't seem like a good guy. Yeah. That had never three at a time, Ed told Rose to shave her legs. After the two appeared to have some intimate off-camera time, Ed could be seen asking Rose for a kiss. She tells him that she doesn't like the feeling of his beard, claiming it irritates and hurts her face. Ed apparently saw this as an opportunity to strike a deal with his wife-to-be. Although it seems he kind of knew the response he would get, because anytime you start off saying anything with, don't be mad at me, but odds are you're going to piss the person off. Mm -hmm. So to no surprise, when Ed told Rose he'd shave his beard if she shaves her legs, she wasn't very happy. But she clearly wasn't a fan of the beard, so she reluctantly agreed and headed to the shower to start shaving. Why were her legs not shaved anyway? My hair just seems kind of less feminine for a woman. Yeah, I don't like it. It's gross. On to number two, when he told Rose her breath was bad. Remember when we spoke about the gifts he bought Rose? Well, aside from the brawn panties, he also bought her a little oral hygiene set of his own. As he hands her each gift, if call it that he names what they are starting with the mouthwash the cute toothbrush funny that he looks and like his breath is bad is what Ed likely thinks wow he looks can be deceiving it's not pretty obviously rose responded with a negative reaction once again because look, who does that Ed explained to viewers one of the first things i noticed even at the airport was her breath but i didn't know how to bring it up and i don't think she realizes it but i do however it seems rose had an explanation for her breath telling ed she has an ulcer we're walking away. Ed tried to cover himself, telling Rose, I love you. Twitch she replied, you're ugly. Now we've gotten to the top spot, ladies and gentlemen. The most insane Big Ed moment from 90 Day Fiance. Number one, asking her to take an STD test. It seems this is really oh, wow. one of the first clips from the show that would send Ed and Rose into reality stardom. After telling Rose that he no longer wants to focus on her past, specifically referring to the fact that he was concerned whether or not Rose was friends with any exes on social media, Ed put his focus elsewhere, making sure the girl he's sleeping with is disease free. Now, mm. I think it's somewhat of a normal thing to ask your partner to get a test, just to be safe, especially if you're in a relationship. Sure, Maybe sure. that's just me, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts on that, I guess, guys. However, there's a time and place, and you should be willing to get a test as well, assuming there's mutual respect between both partners. Right. Ed disregarded all of that when he not only proposed the idea to Rose while they sat down at a restaurant, but also refused to take one himself. Yeah, Rose like, who did you think he is? disappointed, but also offended, admitting in the confessional to viewers that she was actually really hurt. Ed, however, stood his ground telling viewers he needs to make sure the girl he's with isn't getting around. Still, that doesn't excuse not only where and how... Like, you now, can't get around and, and, and you know, yeah. keep from and being, from having my, STDs. It's not like the first thing on my head, but... I don't know if I like if I if I start seeing somebody and they tell me that they had slept with somebody like a month before seeing me, I would just be like, hey, just to make sure, like, you know, I'll take one too. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm weird. I am weird. And there you guys have it for the top ten insane big head moments. Wow. Okay. Well, I watched it. You guys requested it. Very, very interesting. 
yeah guys if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up don't forget to comment below other videos that you like for me to react to if you're not a part of our family definitely subscribe for the dopest alive we're having lots of fun on the playground thank you guys for watching and i'll see you manana bye